<clears throat> Today is Sunday, Mar January the 29th. This is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 10 through 20. Here's the word of the Lord. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always sees the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. And that is the word of and the promise of the Lord. Marked by God is the title of the article today by Dustin Metcraft. Christians are meant to be people who represent God in the world. <clears throat> Following the example of Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, we are to live uniquely. Today's gospel reminds us of just how different we are to be. Where the world divides people by level of importance, Jesus tells us that we are not to despise one of these little ones. Every person matters. The church sees the image of God in each person, no matter their perceived value to society. We also are to be unique in how we deal with conflict. Gone are the angry words, the clenched fist the debate winning posture that seems so common today. And in their place is the quiet conversation, the fellowship of suffering that seeks a path to reconciliation. No other name, no other identity is to define the character of God's people. It's as if we are to be marked by his name. What name identifies you? Are you being marked by the wrong name? Hear Jesus saying to each of us, I want you to gather in my name so that I can transform you to be like me. God, make it so. The hymn is How I, Lo How, oh, How I Love Jesus by Frederick Whitfield. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. And from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 4, they will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And this is your daily devotion for Sunday, January 29th. God bless.